Listen, the Fed fund rate is at five and a quarter percent. Ah, got that. The Freddie Mac 30 year fixed rate average right now is at 6.69%, which I don't know anybody right now who's writing loans from six and a half to six and three quarters. If you are, would you please do me a favor and hit us up down below? I'd like to have a conversation with you. see what the 30-year fixed rate loan right now looks like over the past 10 years here it is Ugh. it's pretty ugly isn't it now let's pull that time frame back out just a little bit further here's a 30-year fixed rate graph since 1973 and i gotta tell you our rates right now eh, don't look that bad over the past 50 years they look downright good over the past 10 years pretty ugly now here's the cold stark reality of right now we have never seen rates this high with values inflation considered this high as well it's the double whammy now this is important the feds said the fund rate is going to end this year at least a quarter percent higher than what it is right now so the idea that we're pulling back on rates isn't based in reality the reason is the disappointingly slow decline in core inflation so far this year in short we keep buying stuff we don't need and we're buying it on credit so the feds raise the fund rate which raises your credit card rates as a means of giving you a moment to pause about your spending habits and thus far it hasn't slowed your spending roll at all they keep climbing my friends i mean don't you kind of get the feeling like we're a drunk in the middle of an epic like three-year non-stop bender and right now we're just i mean barely coming aware that when we stop drinking we're gonna have hell to pay with a hangover for the ages that's what this role feels like as as long as we keep spending money and employing folks and having fun then everything is gonna be okay and we can permanently keep that hangover at bay never mind my friends though that all of this is on credit and we will pay for it one day most economists are saying that rates are going to remain at their current levels through the end of the year that sounds kind of bad doesn't it believe it or not though this year is half over now assuming they're correct and rates are going to remain high frankly this plays into the hands of the actual professional loan officer a term we're using a lot in our office right now a professional loan officer now remember we told you at the top of the show and last week that 60 percent of loan officers right now are living paycheck to paycheck well 30 percent say that they're going to get out of the industry this year or better yet before rates come back down and another 15 percent said that they're going to leave this industry unless they get to work less and get paid more with that work ethic i think the only job that you would be qualified for is a wholesale bulk cocaine smuggler of course that job comes with certain drawbacks like living and catching the fancy of dea agents you might want to try sticking with loans and just work a little harder now i thought this was funny according to realtor.com economist hannah jones says despite this annual price decline homes in many areas are out of the feasible price range for many buyers and still high interest rates are discouraging homeowners from giving up their current mortgage rates and listing their homes for sale ain't that a great way of whitewashing what you really and truly want to say i would put it in these terms when it comes to the housing market right now too many people are too poor and stuck in the homes they live in now all this is exacerbated by the new home builders playing the part of cartel and collectively not building homes to the demand levels that we have right now and then the feds also coming in and trying to artificially control interest rates through policy rather than actual market conditions like we've done for the history of the feds existence now you might say housing right now is a situation or an event if you will that's marked by chaos and controversy which by the way if you didn't know is the actual definition of shit show now i'm going to request from webster's that they make an amendment to the definition of shit show that adds the statement also see the united states real estate and mortgage market right now now on a lighter side and better and equally as true and again we talked about this on this very show a third of the mortgage industry is packing their stuff right now and they're leaning for other than greener pastures attrition my friends and time are the sweet sweet gifts to you the mortgage industry steady eddie is going to get let me explain let's just assume 
that mortgage volume remains the same. Let's take you and two of your competitors. So we have three loan officers, right? If each one of you made $100,000 last year, that's a really great job. Now, one of you decides that you're going to quit. Now, with the same volume, the two remaining loan officers, the ones left standing, should make $150,000 for the exact same amount of work and work ethic. So with all the negative news we're staring down right now, and there's a bunch, this scenario is also mixed in, and it's absolutely going to happen. So stick with it, my friends. Attrition is going to reward you with a higher income next year. Now, the movie I was talking about is a documentary. It's called The Battered Bastards of Baseball. Kurt Russell, yes, that one, his dad actually bought this team and was a baseball nut. He held open tryouts for anybody to come play at a non-affiliated professional Portland, Oregon team. You guessed it, essentially, the grown-up version of the Bad News Bears showed up. What nobody expected was they were going to play the affiliated teams that were playing for and on behalf of Major League Baseball franchises, and they beat the living hell out of them. It's a documentary about the adult Bad News Bears, and guess what? Kurt Russell actually played with these guys, the battered bastards of baseball. Watch this documentary, I tell you, if ever there was a case where you wanted to root for the underdog as maybe you feel right now in the mortgage and real estate space, this documentary will inspire you. It's also streaming on Netflix. And do us a favor, let us know what you thought of the documentary. Put it in the comments down below. And if you have any recommendations for movies we should look at, come on, it's a two-way street. Let's do it. Have a good day. Did you know that a recent survey suggests that 60% of all loan officers are living paycheck to paycheck? Not terribly surprising. Listen, it seems to me that you would offer as many products as humanly possible to change that number. Non-QM is a way to go. Our great friends at Oak Tree just brought on a couple of brand new products that they're the only ones offering in this capacity. Learn more about these and all their other products one-on-one. -on -one. Click the banner down below.